So, thank you very much for waiting. I'm sorry for that. Uh, but the laptop is new and I don't control <laughs> as much. Um, I'm very happy to be here uh, to show you about uh, this new tool that is called Disney Network. It's a new, uh, it's a new R package to explore and query data, uh, data in DisGenet. DisGenet is a research that I've been involved during the last years on developing mainly the the semantic the semantic yeah, sorry the semantic web part uh, is a knowledge platform on human gene disease associations uh, that integrates um, these associations are extracted by text mining um, from the literature and uh, with uh, experts curated biomedical databases or biological databases. Um, it includes uh, diseases from all areas. Uh, importantly, in each, it, each association is supported by uh, the evidence that it's behind. And uh, we also offered a suite of uh, analysis tools. Uh, let me present to you the new release of the database uh, with the new stuff that we included. We included new sources, so we have updated the ontology that we use to integrate all this data from these several databases, uh, new annotation, new indexes that we have implemented, new mappings, new disease mappings, uh, the new RD semantic web distributions that we offer to the community. Uh, first of all, we uh, have uh, in this new we update the database annually, and this year we include this list of we, we integrated all these uh, resources of uh, <laughs> yeah, gene disease associations. Uh, we classified all these resources on curated, uh, predicted, predicted because are from uh, model organisms and are predictions because we predicted to human, and literature because they come from mine, text mining the, the publications. And in this new, in this new re release, uh, we have um, included Orphanet database and the EBI GWS catalog as curated data sources. Uh, of course, all the sources have been updated. And the major contributor, the major source of, uh, that contributes to the most of this genet, that this genet in this new release has almost 500,000 associations, is it's the Beef Resource. Beef Resource is the text mine data set that is obtained in our, in my last group uh, in Barcelona. And uh, well. the, the, the data model of this genet is mainly is simple. Very simplistic, but it's mainly this one. It's uh, based on three entities, the association, the gene disease association as is, and it's related to the gene and the disease uh, that are related. Uh, all this information uh, is, all the identifiers of these entities are normalized. Um, we make a, a special emphasis on to use common standards, and the integration of all these associations from all these sources is ontology based. Importantly, as uh, I said before, uh, each association each association is supported by different attributes of the evidence and provenance of, uh, of each claim. Um, the PubMed article, the primer, the source, um, uh, the DigiNet score that is based on the evidence that we have in the in the database. A uh, sentence uh, extracted uh, by text mining uh, describing the association, and if the association has um, genetic variation, we also included the well, SNP genetic variation. We also included this information in the in the association, and also we offer uh, different attributes associated to the disease and the and the gene related. Uh, we develop a uh, Little ontology describing these associations, these gene disease associations. Um, basically, these associations are the, uh, how the biomedical um, um, databases that we are integrating describe these associations. So we are formalized in a, our ontology that is included in SIO. 
Uh, now this in this last release, this uh, ontology has evolved to the to the left, to the one on the left, and has been a little bit more complex because of the uh, integration of Orphanet mainly. Mm, also, we have implemented new annotation regarding disease. We have implemented uh, annotation to the first branches in the in two ontologies, in the disease ontology and the H and the human phenotype ontology, and, and also the old annotation is it's kept, that is the mesh class and the uh, human less semantic type. Regarding genes, we have, uh, uh, we recorded the protein if there is, if is a an encode, um, protein encoding gene, uh, the pathway that is uh, known to be involved, or pathways, um, the Panther class, and we have implemented the uh, new two um, new DigiNet indexes that are um, the disease specificity and the disease uh, pleiotropy. That uh, it um, uh, we want to reflect that uh, with the disease specificity, we want to reflect if a gene uh, is related to a specific disease or a set of disease or uh, um, many diseases and with pleiotropy we want to um, uh, describe if this gene is related to different classes of diseases or is focused on a disease class or a set of disease classes. Uh, importantly, our diseases that are uh, all, all uh, normalized to UMLS concepts are uh, uh, map to several standards in disease uh, and, uh, and disease vocabularies and ontologies. And in this new release, we have implemented uh, mappings to IFO. This uh, new mapping came from the last Y hackathon. Uh, Nick Jati uh, points me to IFO, and well, we work with uh, Simon Jeff as well to to implement this this mapping. Uh, uh, this new release also, we have released a new version of RDF and a new nanopublication data set. Uh, <clears throat> the access to these uh, res semantic web resources are, you can download it as a top dumps. Uh, we have a public SparkQL endpoint, a uh, face at the browser because our mm, trip Triple database is virtuoso, and it's one of the uh, facilities or features that we ca can be implemented. Uh, we also are in OpenFax in the OpenFax platform, and uh, our trust in other publications are is the second um, nano publication data set that is <clears throat> that has been loaded to the nano publication network. And importantly, we are fair um, that. Rafa and several people here are um, um, are saying that uh, is a, uh, these are principles that are important for for projects la, la, uh, like Elixir or NIH. As I said before, uh, we offer tools for exploration. Uh, we offer the semantic web version of DigiNet. We offer a site to Skype plugin for network network analysis, a web interface, a user friendly web interface, and programmatic access. And now I'm going to present you this new R package. Uh, what is it? What is an R package uh, to query and expand DigiNet data, to analyze and visualize these results in the in the powerful R, R environment that is used widely used for the biomedical uh, bio, uh, and for bioinformatician community uh, uh, to engage with this community and well it's it will be launched okay it will be launched uh, with this new uh, release of this net mm. <coughs> is implemented in our programming language uh, language uh, using the object-oriented 
programming uh, approach L uh, S4 that is a requirement of bioconductor. Uh, it's free uh, or is a free open source tool. Um, it's been it is still in development. Uh, it's, it has to be added to bioconductor and the data the data um, that um, is back end to the the package is this genet and this genet uh, RDF. This genet to query and this genet RDF to expand to other and integrate to other <coughs> sorry resources. <coughs> Who is de developing this tool? Uh, it's developed by the same Digenet project team uh, that is uh, located in Barcelona. is uh, the Integrative Biomedical Informatics Group. And the developers are, well, my colleagues Alba Gutierrez, Janet Piñero, Emilio Centeno, that will be my uh, substitute uh, on charge on, on the semantic web uh, interface of the internet and our PI Laura <clears throat> and if you want more information you can contact Laura or during the biohackathon I will be the contact uh, for this tool. Uh, why is developed? Uh, well uh, to serve uh, to the bioconductor community to analyze high throughput genomics data uh, to interact with other packages in the in the platform, in the bioconductive platform, and to be integrated in workflows such as Nime, such as the plat Nime platform. Um, where you, uh, this is the link in Bitbucket where do you can download it and use use it. Please don't be shy, and we will. I will be very happy to 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 know about your feed, to, your feedback. And uh, but. Bear in mind that bearing in mind that uh, uh, is a package in development and there are bugs and well, uh, I will be happy to to know more about these bugs. <laughs> Functions that are in uh, this package, uh, we can um, a user can, can query gene disease associations, variant disease associations, disease phenotype associations. We have implemented uh, these associations from the Human Phenotype Ontology Project. Also, uh, you can query disease disease associations, and you can expand this genet uh, through the th through uh, other linked open data re resources by query federation. Uh, and now uh, we have implemented functions that query this genet with Wikipath, cross this genet with Wikipath with like, and Campbell. More can be added during the biohackathon, uh, for example. And these functions are accompanied by visualization functionalities. Um, you can query gene disease associations by gene, or a list of genes, or by disease, or a list of diseases. Um, we provide filters to do these queries. Uh, you, can filter, we ca you can filter for database, or, or class of database, for example, curated, or you can uh, just simply search all the database and you can filter by the Digenet score in order to, uh, to filter the data and you can visualize, uh, visualize this data mainly uh, as networks or heat maps. Um, for, uh, uh, as you can see, uh, one of the heat maps that uh, we provide in this function is if you query for a list of genes, uh, you can visualize uh, as a heat map the score linked to the associations with the disease that are associated. Also, you can visualize, visualize by grouping by classes, uh, by mesh classes or by, or by panther classes. Uh, you can query variant disease uh, notations. You can visualize, uh, visualize these results as networks, as disease variant networks, or by heat maps. Uh, again, uh, if you uh, query a list of variants, uh, which kind of diseases are linked to these variants, uh, you can group the results by mesh disease classes in order to be more inter biologically interpretable. <coughs> Also, you can query and retrieve data on disease disease information. Uh, you can do disease disease network or comorbidity networks. Uh, when you query one disease to 
what other diseases are linked. You can also visualize results as a bar plot, uh, seeing uh, each disease uh, who is related, how many genes share, and the Jacker index that, that uh, we also provide this Jacker index. And you can visualize, um, visualize um, the Venn diagram of comorbidity relationships. And also the heat map, interestingly, the heat map on, on these shared genes in which pathways are involved. And the functions that the uh, search on RDF data are the querying uh, these disease phenotype associations from HPO. Also, federation queries, uh, you can uh, search for disease to pathway, pathway to disease, or disease to compound, compound to disease data, and also this mapping service, disease mapping service. Uh, if you have, uh, 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 if you want to query a rare disease and you have the orphanet um, ID uh, and you need to know the 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 concept in UMLS that is related, you can use this function in order to 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 search on this unit. Uh, these will be the use cases that we aim to to add the researchers to to answer with this kind of tools that we provide. Uh, inter interesting for translational research. And this uh, this genetics research is av available in that um, link in that website. And also, we are present in open facts, in open life data, and pop annotation, and in. Uh, as and as a fair data port, and well, uh, my acknowledgments to my last group, the EB group, and a special thanks to Michelle Dimontier, to Simon Jab, to Nick Jati, to Tobias, and the Disjunet uh, users, especially to the organizers of the Biohackathon that I'm very ple pleased to um, get got invited again, and. That's all. If you have questions, I will be happy to answer you if I can. <laughs>